Hey y'all, don't mind my shirt because I've been cooking all day. But I wanna share something with y'all that the Lord told me the other day, right? So I was just going about a day minding my business and I had this particular friend that I wanted to um, reach out to and just talk to. But I didn't do it because I had already talked to that friend for like an hour and a half on the phone that day. And I'm like, oh man, I don't wanna, I don't wanna reach out because We've already been talking today for a long time. Like, I don't want to take too much of their time up. But the Lord kind of like dropped it on me when I was having those thoughts that while I'm in my mind like, oh, I don't want to do this because I'm trying to be considerate of their time. He was like, no, you're not being considerate. You're afraid. And I was like, because what he was saying was a lot of times we have trauma like if you're if you're like me I grew up hearing like you talk a lot you take a moment to get to the point it takes you a while to articulate what you're trying to say so when I do talk to my friends they already understand like I often apologize for um, taking a while to get to the point but my friend already knows this and my friend makes room for me to just be myself and so when I didn't reach out to this friend this friend eventually, like a, like an hour or so later, reached out to me, actually just called me out of the blue and just was yapping, just to yap. And you know, it was a safe space, so I was down with it. The Lord revealed to me after that phone call, he was like, you're not being considerate, you're afraid. You pray for covenant friendships where people will accept you for who you are. When I bless you with that, you cannot self-sabotage that based off your trauma. We don't serve a God that does anything half-heartedly. So if you pray and ask God for something, he's not going to bless you halfway. He's always going to give you the overflow more than what you pray and ask for. So when I pray and I ask for a friend or friendships or relationships in general where people accept me for who I am, um, covenant relationships, he's going to bless me with people who are going to steward me the way I deserve to be held. I can't allow my fear of being too much or doing too much, saying too much, to interrupt my ability to just be myself, to reach out to this person, to just let them know, hey, I'm thinking about you. Yeah, we already talked for an hour today, but I value you as a person and I enjoy speaking to you. Um, because people who value you, people that God blesses you with, they're going to be able to, and they're going to want to accept that part of you. They're going to already appreciate that about you. I just wanted to share that with y'all because if you're like me and you grew up like that, if you're praying, if you're praying and you're asking God for covenant friendships, covenant relationships, relationships in general where people just allow you to be yourself, once you get those, do not allow your trauma and your past or just your flesh yourself to overtake you to a point where you self-sabotage what he gave you.